Coming up this month, Boston will once again host one of my favorite events, the 13th Annual Boston International Film Festival. Now, filmmakers, actors, producers, and other industry professionals from around the world will mingle with hundreds of moviegoers at various events around various theaters in and along the city. Now, this year's program includes, get this, 80 films from around 30 countries. Now, to tell us more, we've invited Boston International Film Festival founder, Patrick Jerome, who, by the way, is a, is a filmmaker himself, <laughs> and also our good friend Naomi Kondo, who is the coordinator this year. So she really does the work, right? Yeah, <laughs> yes, in a way, I would say. In a way. Okay, so let's start with this, Jerome. Um, I'm excited again. Uh, 13 years. 13 years. It's yep. been a long time. It's been a journey. Yes. Um, I mean, I remember when we started the festival 14 years ago, we had no idea that you know we would get to that point where we are today. So so far we've been uh, receiving so many submissions from so many different countries, about 63 countries altogether, since we started the festival, and it's become more and more and more involved inside the uh, movie industry itself, where we have people flying all over California to come here and around the world. So this is a very exciting event, and this year is really special. Yeah, and I'm going to go to Naomi because you've been doing all the work on this. You know a lot of the details that are going on so what can we expect this year that's uh, that got, that's got all of you guys excited um, well a couple of different things we have kind of a new um, we have a new venues um, our opening night is still going to be at the AMC Lowe's where we'll have the gala or the opening night red carpet that's at the Boston Commons right at the Boston Commons yeah but we're also going to be having um, filming uh, screenings at both uh, the Paramount and at our BPE studio so we're going to have different places this year. Now, the Paramount is the one on Washington Street that's been refurbished. It's beautiful, right? Owned by Emerson exactly. Cuddles, right? Yep, yep. And the other one is where? BP Studio is uh, on Hamilton Place by Park Street. Okay. Yeah, so that's so where our office is, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. where your, your, your office is. Okay, so tell me about, now I, I always love to, to always uh, uh, ask my friend here about some previews of some of the can't misses. I know they're all good, <laughs> but you know my style. Let's go the Alberto pick so we don't you know, upset any of the filmmakers. Well, Friends and, and Romans is the uh, feature film yes. that's opening the festival yeah. this year. Yeah, we have uh, that. Yeah, uh, it's Romans. a very you know, exciting movie. About about a group of mobsters who decided to put a, 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 a Shakespeare play on because they've been playing extra in movies and they want to show that they can act as well. Not is this a comedy? Movie. Yes, it okay. is a comedy. <laughs> Some yeah. kind of a dramatic comedy, but it's more of a comedy. So we are very excited to have this movie from Michael Maynor coming here to Boston with the entire cast and they are so excited. The entire cast is coming? Yes. So, so you can meet the people in the movie? Definitely. And then actually the opening night, that's when we have the red car. So we start with the red carpet on Thursday, April 16 at 6 p.m., where the entire cast of Friends and Women will be there. And uh, people will be able to take picture with them for about an hour, and then we go inside the theater, have the presentation of the movie, and then after that we have the uh, uh, gala party. This is a very amazing film, and we have so many other movies that are highlights at the festival. We have a movie that came from Haiti, uh, La Belle Vie, mm. uh, that is very inspirational. And we have movies coming from Africa, uh, a small thing, we have uh, uh, Love Thai Nature, uh, that was filming in Brazil, in Hawaii as well, and so many other countries. I mean, to give you a highlight, it's very hard for me because we watch so all those movies, and they, all of them have something special and unique about it. So we are looking forward to really a great film festival. Now, Naomi, how can, I mean, let's say someone we've piqued their interest is watching the show. How can someone get a, first, how can they attend? buy tickets mm -hmm. and then get an idea of the movie schedules because I know in this we have one of these here right yes but is this available mm -hmm. online and can people go on well I mean you can go to our website bifilmfestival.com okay um, and that has everything there it has all the movies descriptions of all the movies um, all the movies are broken up into sessions so it's usually like a short and a feature and you can get a listing of all the sessions and all the movies, and that's all on the website, bifilmfestival.com. Yeah. I'm going to make sure we put up the information, kind of that we have a general mm -hmm. uh, uh, full screen mm -hmm. of it that's up there. And uh, I like that because it's got a little of the red carpet, <laughs> photos. Um, obviously, Thursday, April 16th, Boston mm -hmm. Commons, you get the participating venues. Yeah. But just as importantly, is the www. 
BIFilmFestival.com. There it is. That's and, what I wanted to make yes. sure people mm -hmm. can see. Yeah. So, and, and people can buy tickets for all or some or passes. Uh, actually, we have passes. We have all access VIP passes. Where that would be can mine. Buy pass. That oh. would be mine. <laughs> Yours okay. is ready for you. Okay. Uh, to attend all the festivities, uh, seminar, uh, film, I mean, parties, and all of that. And uh, also, we have the screening pass, which is for all the movies only. And then the, the individual session people can buy to, to attend the screenings. Patrick, how does someone, because I'm sure, I'm sure someone will watch this with a live or then online, um, filmmakers who may want to submit. What is the process of submitting a film uh, to your festival? Um, well, we've been uh, accepting submissions for about six months now. Um, the six months and I'm talking we about started, for next year, obviously yes, not for this year. Yes, we started receiving submission from August all the way until February. So we watch movies for six months. And, and uh, Naomi is very fa familiar with the selection process. You want to say yeah. something about so, it? So Someone's Sorry, watching the show. Yeah. Someone's yeah. watching the show, and uh, they'd love for next year. Maybe they'll probably attend this year, um, get inspired, and either finish or finally start that project. But how do you go about that? Um, well, we, a group of us, we get together on like a Saturday night, a uh, big group of us, and we screen all the films. A lot of popcorn? Uh, yeah, well, we have, we have snacks. Okay. We often have snacks. And uh, we have a thing where we have a, a cup and a pencil with a feather. And when we feel like we're ready for the next movie, we just knock over the, the cup. Oh, you have a little system going. <laughs> we do. And then what we do is we score all the films from 1 to 10. Okay. And if anything gets a 7 or above, They're in. then we, well, we consider it. All right. Well, listen, I know it's uh, April 16th yes. at the uh, Boston Common Lowe's. I'll be there. Buy your tickets. It is great. You get to see a lot of incredible movies that you would never get to see. I'll be there again. All right. Thank okay. you, my all friend. Right, nice my friend. to see you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. That's it for this edition of Urban Update. Well, thanks for watching every Sunday from all of us here at Urban Update. Have a tremendous Sunday, everyone.